question that we get frequently asked is, why do I need maintenance? The system works just fine. And the answer is kind of in the statement on that one. The system works just fine right now. So let's think about a car engine and an oil change for a second. If you don't change the oil in the engine of your car, after it runs and runs and runs for so many miles, the oil starts to break down and turn into a sludge. That sludge then gets into the internals, clogs things up, damages things. So you want to take the family to Disneyland. You hop in the car, you haven't changed the oil ever, and you start driving. You get to the grapevine, you go to put your foot in it to get up over the grapevine, and the engine breaks down. It leaves you stranded on the side of the road. You take it to the mechanic, the mechanic says, hey, you never changed the oil, it's full of sludge, we got to do a complete engine rebuild or quite possibly replacement uh, as the worst case scenario. The same thing happens with heating and air conditioning. You get these high efficiency units, they produce water, the water grows different algaes inside of it when it's sitting still, and we don't want to run those things through the drainage system, we don't want to run them through the pressure hoses, so on and so forth. So doing your annual maintenance will not only keep the system, system running, but it won't leave you stranded on a hot day in the middle of the summer when everybody's over, or even worse, on a really cold night when it gets below freezing around here. That's when you wind up having the panic phone call, my system doesn't work, we need heat, we need cool, whatever it may be, and all the good companies are going to wind up being booked out, and you know the, the quick company that can get out there immediately probably isn't going to do you the best service. That's why being proactive, getting your maintenance done, is way better than reactive, waiting for it to break. Think about 4th of July, it's 100 plus degrees outside, all the families over at the house, you turn on the air conditioner, you're trying to cool the house, the door's opening and closing, people are running around, in and out, you're barbecuing, you're having a great time, and the air conditioner breaks. Now everybody's miserable because not only is it hot outside, it's hot inside, you're panicking, you're calling whatever HVAC company you can to get out to try to fix it immediately. And realistically, when that happens, the good HVAC companies are going to be booked up and the guys that can come out immediately more than likely aren't going to do you the best service. If you had a maintenance program, even though it still runs, we'd be able to look at the system and say, ooh, this part is outside of its manufacturer's specification or this part's burning up and take care of it proactively versus being reactive. So just because the system runs doesn't necessarily mean that it doesn't require maintenance. If you look inside of owner's manuals for any manufactured furnace and air conditioner, if you look at PG&E's recommendations, uh, the AGA's recommendations, it doesn't matter. All of them recommend the same thing, that maintenance should be done on an annual basis, being yearly, for each piece of equipment in the home. And that is not just limited to a heater or an air conditioner. That also goes for like an oven, a microwave, solar systems, water heaters, so on and so forth. So it's important that you have maintenance even though it quote unquote works because we want to keep it working and not have an emergency breakdown.